Hi, Joseph Smith with Fluid Air Dynamics. Uh, we wanted to review the proper procedure for taking an oil sample on your rotary screw air compressor. Uh, initially, run your compressor for a few minutes and bring it up to temperature. Once you've brought the oil up to temperature, that just helps mix all the particulates that may be inside the system in the oil so you get a true sound sample. Uh, once that's completed, you want to lock and tag out your power source and close your isolation valve on the package. You want to release all your energy that's stored in the system. Once you've completed those tasks, you're ready to take an oil sample. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the oil fill plug on your sump tank. And we've got a simple tool you can use for taking an oil sample, a turkey baster. It'll allow to get you down to the center of the sump. This way you get a good sound sample of oil in the middle. Take your turkey baster, insert it halfway into the sump so you're about center line, and extract your sample. Get a little bit more so we get a full. There is a full line on your oil sample jar. Be sure to fill it to that level. This way the lab has enough oil to do a complete analysis on your oil. Place the cap on, clean and wipe the residual oil off the sides, and your oil sample kit will come with a label. On this label, you want to identify the model number of the compressor, serial number of the compressor, operating hours of the compressor, and the date that you've took, taken the sample. Once you've completed that, place your label on the oil sample jar, and it's ready to ship off to the lab they have analyzed. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.